Welcome to your monthly YouTube video. We've taken our workout outdoors this afternoon. Thank you to Tammy and Amanda for helping us out today. So Tammy will be doing the um, beginner, intermediate, and Amanda the more intermediate advanced for our exercises. So we encourage you to warm up on your own. We're gonna get started with our first circuit. So each circuit is going to consist of a cardio exercise, core, and then a lower body or upper body. We'll repeat the circuits twice, 30 seconds each. Okay, ladies, we're gonna start with a step up first for 30 seconds. Ready? In three, two, one, begin. So now you'll see with these, they're gonna vary tempo. So Amanda's going a little bit faster, and then Tammy's taking a little bit slower. Okay, so you can vary that to your intensity. Nice job, ladies. Doing great. So again, this is a cardio emphasis here. Couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent job. So now we're going to come into core next. So V-sit is what we're going to take on this one. So again, see the different variations here. 30 seconds. In three, two, one, begin. So you're keeping your core engaged. Chest is nice and tall. So there's no curve in that T-spine. Getting right deep into those transverse abdominals. Nice job. Inhale, exhale with effort. And great. So Tammy can tap her feet on the floor. You can do one leg at a time. Two here as well. About 10 seconds. Yep. You can do that. Nice job, ladies. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, our first lower body or strength exercise will be squats. So just again, paying attention to the variations here um, as well as range of motion. In three, two, one, begin. Good, inhale lower, exhale up. So Tammy's getting a really nice full range. Her knees are checking in line with her toes. And then Amanda's taking a little bit up a notch here with that cardio emphasis. You can add a little hop to that squat jump. Landing nice and soft on those feet. Nice job, ladies. Keep that breath going here. Just about halfway or a little over halfway here. Doing great. And you can do this with a chair at home as well. You don't have a bench. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, so we got through those three exercises. We're gonna repeat them this time. So we're back to those step ups. 30 seconds in three, two, one, begin. Good. Use your arms for momentum here. Make a nice active arm. Excellent. Be mindful of your ground below you, especially with the bench. Just making sure you're getting the balls of your feet on that bench. Don't want any accidents. <laughs> Doing great. Getting that heart rate up. 10 seconds to go. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two and rest we're back to core back to that v-sit so you would also do this on the floor as well if you'd like for a little softer surface three two one begin in and out good hands are at your side chest is tall doing great ladies Okay, if you need to take that posture break if you start to feel your shoulders coming forward um, just take it and step right back into it more of quality versus quantity here. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent work. All right, we are our last lower right. strength. We're doing great. <laughs> Back to squats. Last time with the squats, and then we'll take it to upper body next circuit. 30 seconds, three, two, and begin. Squat down and up. Excellent job. Keeping that chest lifted. So good thing with squats is just to make sure that those knees aren't caving in, especially when you're inhaling to lower and to come back up, kind of keep them out on that wide line here. Nice job. Amanda's using those arms for really nice momentum there with the squat jumps. If you don't want that squat jump, you can always do a little bit of a calf raise as well. And again, just varying the tempo. So squat pulses could work here as well. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent job, ladies. Circuit one, complete. So we're gonna go to a different cardio and core, um, then add uh, upper body. So we have toe taps for our cardio to start, and then we'll go from there, okay? So again, you could do toe taps lower. This is a little bit, a little bit higher with that bench. 30 seconds, are you ready? Ready. Yes, they are. Ready. Yes, you are as well. Three, two, one, begin. So again, here's tempo, right? You can go slower, pumping those arms at your side, making them nice and active, or a little bit faster. Excellent job. Doing great. 
We want to put that good stress on the heart with that cardio exercises here. Looking good. Keep pushing at home. You're doing great. Couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. For core this round, we are doing mountain climbers. All right, so you'll see again, different elevation here. Ready for 30 seconds. And let's begin. Good, perfect. So big important one on this one is to keep those shoulders over the wrist. And you can see that with Amanda here. She's driving those knees forward. And then same with Tammy. She's at a little bit more of an angle, so she's not gonna have that full shoulder over the wrist emphasis that you can see from the side there. But she's taking those knees in side by side. If you want more of a challenge, you can certainly come down onto that floor and come right here as well. Again, speed is different here too. So Amanda could do a little bit faster or keep it at that tempo. All right, and five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Our upper body is push-up. So because we're in that bound climber position, it makes for a great transition right to upper body. It's a little bit more shoulder work here as well. 30 seconds, three, two, let's work. Good, excellent job. Inhale, exhale, press equally into those palms. So lift your shoulders up to that sky, if you could. That's your external goal there. Good, keeping that belly button pulled into that spine, protecting that lower back. Nice job, ladies. Whew. Take that break when you need it, right? Just adjust here, almost there for seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right. One time through, second time. <laughs> back to toe taps. All right, ready. Getting back to that cardio. In three, two, one, begin. So again, working those arms, right side or side, getting those toes up. Higher the knees, the higher that heart rate's gonna get. But you can certainly get it up there just as quick if you're taking a little bit slower mark. And listen to your body. Every day is a little bit different. That second round, you might feel a little bit more fatigued. And just work on that, listen, and adjust. Couple more seconds at home. Hang on here, about eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Excellent, back to those mountain climbers. 30 seconds. Yes. We can do it. <laughs> Ready, three, two, one, let's work. I'll join you guys this time, driving those knees side to side. Again, tempo-wise, I can take those knee drives a little bit quicker. I was just doing this on grass and not gravel. <laughs> Keeping your shoulder over your wrist. You can also take knees across the body this round if you'd like to switch it up as well. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Shake it out. Push up. Back on, push up. And then we'll switch to a different circuit. 30 seconds, let's begin. Inhale to lower, exhale press, around the clock. Oh, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, ladies. Yeah, you can be here. If you want a little bit more advanced, you can take single leg options here as well. It's only because I've only done a couple reps. <laughs> Hang on, ladies. Good, equally press into those palms. Try to find a 90 degree of range of motion if you can, but as you fatigue, maybe you shorten that range. Five, four, three, two, and press. Excellent job. We're halfway through our workout, so we are on to our third circuit. We're gonna keep the cardio and core the same, but we'll switch up that lower body um, exercise. So we'll come back to our step ups, we'll do our V-sit tucks, and then we have lunges for our last one. Are we ready? Ready. Okay, 30 seconds. Ready at home, let's make this work here in three, two, one, step ups again. Good, so again, maybe you're adjusting this round. A little listen to that body, you can amplify or modify that exercise. That's one like that. <laughs> Good, pumping those arms at your side, keeping those arms active. Doing great. 10 seconds. And we're on to that core again. Five, four, three, two, rest. Excellent work. 
We're gonna find that seat on that bench. Yeah. Chest nice and tall. <laughs> Let's get ready again. Single leg, both legs. Take your options. Let's go to work. You're on. 30 seconds. Good. Hands at your side. Yep. Having that equal. Finding your sits bones there makes it a little bit easier for you. Good. Exhale as you press out. Inhale back as the knees bend. Extend and bend. Hold a visa too, maybe that's enough for you as well. That's my bell. Way to adjust. Countdown's coming all the way through that countdown in five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent job. All right, so now we're taking it into lower body. So we're gonna do a suspended lunge here. I'll come on the side just to show you it off of the bench if you don't want that. So Bulgarian squat or suspended lunge, however you like to look at it. So the most important thing that they'll find here is to make sure that your knee is over your ankle so it's not going past your toe. Chest is nice and tall. This is a really good for balance. A really good one for balance if you have that one suspended. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Begin. So you lunge and come up. Many different variations for this one. Yep, there you go. Good. Inhale to lower. And again, maybe you find just different ranges of motion. So maybe you're just going here and then up. Or you're gonna go lower, or you can change that tempo again. So maybe it's a little bit quicker. Easier for me when I don't have that foot on that back bench. Good, ladies, hang on. And then Amanda's taking that pulse, so it's gonna, she's gonna feel that burn a little bit quicker. So she's probably wondering how much seconds we have left. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We'll get Ooh. the other side on the second round. So we'll take it back to those step ups. 30 seconds. Yeah. And we're starting to feel warm. So it's really good that it's September, right? It's nice cool day today, so just be mindful if you're outside, drink water, stay hydrated. Back to our step up, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Good. Up, up, down, down. <laughs> Again, Amanda's been doing that advanced move, so she can always adjust here on this last round here, or in this third circuit, but last round this third circuit. Last round with the step ups, which we'll be doing toe taps next. Good. Or again, you can be doing step ups without a bench right here as well. Count down here, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. All right, last time with those V-sits, guys, here. Again, maybe you can just hold that V-sit instead of having the tuck. your choice. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, begin. So yeah, it's time to take it right to that uh, single leg each side. A little less of a lever there as well. And again, maybe with Amanda, she doesn't extend the legs fully out. That can always help a little bit too. Good, avoiding that C-curve in the spine, shoulders down and back, chest proud. Got this. You got this, Amanda, you got this. You got this at home, stay with it. You're almost there. Keep that breath. It helps you all the way through that exercise in five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent work. Last time with the lower body here, because our second or our last circle with the upper body, we got those lunges. Which side did I do? I did this side last time. Okay, so the other side, other foot suspended. Again, if the balance was a little tricky that last time, maybe you take that foot to the ground. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's work. Inhale, exhale up. Knee over the ankle. Good, find that full range. If you want, you can even add a little bit of that hop too for the front leg. That'll be a little bit more plyo. Or you got that pulse that Amanda's got here. 10 more seconds. All the way through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. We made it to our last circuit. So guys, great job at home so far. Let's finish strong. So we're gonna take it back to our toe taps. We'll have our mountain climbers. And then that third exercise will be tricep dips. Go a little bit more of the back of the arm. Hydrate, hydrate. All right. You can also do this in a shady spot too as well. With some good vitamin D. Okay, so we'll start with those toe taps. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, begin. You got really active with your hands, side to side, driving those arms from your hips. Quicker or slower. Good, Amanda. Excellent job. 
Light on our toes. In three, two, one, rest. All right, we made it to mountain climbers again. So, shoulders over those wrists. 30 seconds here, find your elevation. Three, two, one, let's begin. Dry the knees. Again, maybe opposite elbows, or you can do a little bit more Spider-Man if you like to get to the outside and get into your hips a little bit more. Many different variations for that. So slower or quicker. Just keep those joints stacked, belly pulled into your spine to protect your lower back. Neck is long. About 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, we're taking it to triceps, our last upper body strength exercise. So think about levers again. So Chani's gonna have knees bent and Amanda's gonna have a, uh, legs a little bit longer. Yep, that's good. And then, Range of motion, try to get to 90 degrees, but again, listen to your body and try to keep your glutes as close to the bench as you can to avoid that strain on the shoulders. Three, two, one, let's work. Good, nice job, Tammy, that looks awesome. Good, and Amanda just has a variation with the legs. Excellent job. Keeping that chest tall. Join in for a couple. But the ladies have been working hard. Inhale, exhale, press into the hands to bring those glutes all the way back up. Good, almost there. Have one leg extended as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, just one more time through and we are done with this workout. You're doing great. Finish line is in sight, let's do it strong. All right, back to toe taps, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's get after it. Last time with that cardio, make it count here. Give it your best. Side to side. So we're still breathing through those exercises here. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Last time with our mountain climbers for that core. Take what option works best for your body for that last round. Ready, three, Two, one, let's do it. Exhale as you pull those knees in if you're taking that slower. Or keeping that breath going if it's a little bit faster, if you want a little bit more of that cardio like this. Oh yeah, 10 seconds. All the way through, keep those joints stacked. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Woo. All right, last 30 seconds. Tricep dips. Finish together. <clears throat> Ready. Three, two, one. Let's work. Good. Inhale to lower. Exhale, press up. Making sure those glutes are close to that bench. Avoiding that strain on the shoulders. 10 seconds. We can do it. Ooh. Ooh. All the way through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. High five, ladies. Nice work. Good work. Way to get through that. Way to get through that at home. High five to you. We're going to just stretch a little bit out here before we leave you. So just because we stopped with triceps, we're going to stretch the triceps first. So we're going to take our hands at our side. We're going to take the one arm up overhead. Find that tricep release. Sorry if I'm blocking either of you. <laughs> Good. Inhale through the nose, out through that mouth. We will stretch the shoulders as well. So if you bring that arm that was just extended, bring it lowered and then take it across the body. A little shoulder and back stretch there. Maybe a wrist twist just from some of those mountain climbers, the V-sits or the dip, sometimes that feels good. Good, open up those arms to a T position. Let's take the other arm up and over for that tricep release. Inhale, exhale, just letting go of any of that tension that you might be holding on to. And then slowly bringing that arm down and across for that shoulder stretch on the other side. Wrist twist. 
good, nice job. From here, open and close those arms. Just take a nice little chest expansion from those push-ups. Hold those arms back, just press the arms back a little bit here, and then take those arms to interlace and open up that chest. Really good to open up the body here, especially if you sit at a desk a lot throughout the day. And then from here, we're gonna come right into our quad stretch. So arms can release to the side. You can grab that one foot into the hand. Biggest thing is to keep those inner thighs together and then just feeling that nice length, <laughs> length in the quad muscle. So from the side here as well. Good, one more breath. We're gonna take that same leg, take it back behind you, heel comes down, and then shift your weight just slightly forward. And then that's gonna stretch out our calf muscle here, the hip flexor as well. Especially from some of those toe taps, you might have felt that in your calves. Good, one more breath. Step it in, shake it up. Let's go over to the other side for that quad stretch. Inner thighs together. So important to stretch out, so make sure you always take time to the war for the warm up and the cool down. One more breath, and then take that foot back behind you. We'll come into that calf stretch slash hip flexor, bringing those hips slightly forward. Heel can be on the back of the ground here as best you can. Good, one more breath here. Exhale, stepping in, shake it out. We're gonna inhale those arms up overhead, reach tall through that spine, press the hands, interlace, press the hands to the sky. You're gonna bend into the knees, Take a nice little side body stretch here to lengthen that spine once again, those obliques. Take it back through center, bend and take it over to the other side. And we're gonna stretch our hamstrings two times here. So we're going back to the top and then exhale forward fold. And then feel the hamstrings, let the neck and head release here. Maybe shake your head yes or no. Good, and then slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms reach back up to the sky. We'll take one more forward fold here. Exhale, take it over. Good, and then slowly rolling it up one vertebrae at a time. One more breath overhead to make a count for our last one. Inhale, exhale, release. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, enjoy the outdoors. You never know what you can find that you can use for a workout. Thank you to my ladies, and enjoy your day.